This is Kyrgyzstan. Today we're exploring a nation renowned for its stunning alpine landscapes, nomadic heritage and vibrant culture. Stay to the end to uncover the secrets of the Silk Road and discover why Kyrgyzstan is a hidden gem in Central Asia. Located in Central Asia, Kyrgyzstan is a landlocked nation surrounded by mountains. From majestic mountain ranges to expansive lakes, Kyrgyzstan's diverse landscapes provide stunning vistas. Kyrgyzstan is dominated by two major mountain ranges, the Tian Shan and the Pamir. The Tian Shan Mountains cover a significant part of the country, with peaks soaring over 7,000 meters. The iconic Isik Kul Lake nestles among the northern Tian Shan. The Pamir Mountains are found in the eastern part of Kyrgyzstan, along the border with China. With the mountainous terrain, only around one-tenth of Kyrgyzstan's land is suitable for agriculture. Isikul Lake is a major geographical feature of note in Kyrgyzstan. Nestled in the northern Tian Shan Mountains, Isikul is one of the largest mountain lakes in the world. It stretches for over 180 km long and is up to 60 km wide. Isikul is also notable for being the world's second largest Salin Lake after the Caspian Sea. The area around the azure blue Isikul is dotted with traditional yurt camps, resorts and beaches. The mountains of Kyrgyzstan are also the source of major Central Asian rivers. The Narin River flows west and joins the Kara Darya to form the Sir Darya River. In the southwest, the Amu Darya River begins from the Pamas. Both rivers flow onwards into the Aral Sea. The World Bank estimates that Kyrgyzstan's population is around 6.9 million as of 2022. Kyrgyzstan has a diverse population stemming from its historic position along the Silk Road trade route. The titular nation, the Kyrgyz people, comprises about 73% of the population. The next largest group is the Uzbeks at 14%. Other minorities include Russians, Dungans, Uyghurs and Tajiks. The majority religion in Kyrgyzstan is Islam, brought by Arab invaders in the 8th century. Around 90% of Kyrgyz identify as Muslims today, mostly following the more liberal Hanafi school. The remaining 10% of citizens are Russian Orthodox Christians, practitioners of Slavic folk religions, Buddhists and others. The Kyrgyz language belongs to the Turkic group of languages. It is closely related to Kazakh and was first written using the Arabic script. In 1928, the Kyrgyz language was switched to a Latin script before being changed again to a Cyrillic-based script in 1940, which continues till today. About 20% of Kyrgyz citizens speak Russian as their mother tongue, Uzbek is also spoken by the Uzbek minority in the south. Kyrgyz cuisine reflects the country's nomadic history and stunning landscape. It features plenty of meat, dairy, wheat and locally grown produce. First up is Beshbarmak, considered the national dish of Kyrgyzstan. It consists of boiled meat, usually mutton or horse, mixed with broad noodles and onions, the dish gets its name from the Kyrgyz phrase meaning five fingers due to the tradition of eating it only with the hands. For our next dish, we have shorpo, a hearty meat and vegetable stew. Chunks of lamb, beef or chicken are simmered with potatoes, carrots, onions and pumpkin. Fresh herbs like dill, parsley or cilantro add zing. Shorpo comes topped with sizzling morsels of lamb fat and is served with hunks of local bread to dip in the rich broth. Busy makes for a great snack or appetizer any time of day. These are fresh cow or sheep's milk curd patties, semi-soft and with a tangy milky flavor. They can be seasoned with black pepper, formed into bowls or fried into crispy pancakes. Finally, we have boursock, delicious fried bread pockets. 
Flour dough is briefly fried in oil until golden and crispy on the outside, yet still soft inside. Bursok can be stuffed with meat, potatoes, cabbage or pumpkin. The early history of Kyrgyzstan is intertwined with the mighty Silk Road trading route. Control of the region passed between many hands, from the Chinese Han Dynasty to the Tang Dynasty and the Tibetan Empire. In the 8th century, the Muslim Umayyad Caliphate rose to control Central Asia. In the 13th century, the Mongol hordes led by Genghis Khan stormed through. After them came Tamerlane, who expanded the empire dramatically in the late 14th century. The Kyrgyz people arrived in the region from Siberia around the 9th century as nomadic herders. Fast forward to the 19th century when the Russian Empire expanded into Central Asia, looking to counter British interests in India and China. Despite putting up fierce resistance, the Kyrgyz territories were annexed by Russia by the 1870s. The early decades under Russian rule brought much upheaval and rebellion by the Kyrgyz. Alas, they were no match for the might of the Russian army. The Kyrgyz territories were included in the USSR upon its formation in 1924. Under the Soviets, the Kyrgyz SSR was formed in 1936 after national boundaries were redrawn. The Soviets actively promoted nationalism among the Central Asian republics. Industrialization was encouraged and Kyrgyz culture flourished. But the Soviets also cracked down on Islam and traditional ways of life. In the turmoil following the collapse of the USSR in 1991, Kyrgyzstan became an independent state. The early years of independence were marked by instability and economic troubles. President Akayev was ousted in the 2005 Tulip Revolution by protesters angered by corruption. Another president, Bakiev, was forced out in 2010 by the violent uprising. Kyrgyzstan continues to face challenges around political freedoms, ethnic tensions, and finding its place in the world. Share any insights you have on Kyrgyz history and let me know what other Central Asian places you want me to cover in upcoming videos. Kyrgyzstan has a relatively small economy with a GDP of around $11 billion, according to World Bank estimates. Only about one-third of the land is productive for farming. Key industries include agriculture like sheep, wheat and vegetables. Mineral extraction is also vital, including gold, rare earth metals and uranium. The country's plentiful water resources allow hydropower production. Tourism centered around Isik Kul Lake offers future growth prospects. Kyrgyzstan joined the World Trade Organization in 1998 to boost trade. Its main trading partners are fellow former Soviet countries like Russia, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. China is also a major investor in infrastructure for improved connectivity. Textiles, minerals, machinery and food products are exported, while oil and gas are imported. In total, trade makes up around 120% of the country's GDP. As a remote, mountainous state, Kyrgyzstan faces hurdles in stimulating economic growth and prosperity. The economy contracted severely following independence in 1991. Unemployment remains an issue, along with poverty in rural areas. Reliance on gold exports leaves it vulnerable to price shocks. At the heart of Kyrgyz culture are its nomadic roots and traditions, their portable yurt tents, horsemanship skills, and making of fermented mare's milk date back centuries. Traditional folk sports remain popular, like horseback wrestling kokboru, hunting with golden eagles, and using hunting dogs. Kyrgyz oral literature blossomed with skilled poets and creators of epic tales. The most famous is the Manas epic, retelling the exploits of the hero Manas and his descendants. Manaski performers keep the 20 Kenchus and Lane poem alive through recitations. Kyrgyz written literature emerged in the 20th century, 
encouraged by Soviet reforms. Novelists like Chinghiz Aitmatov gained acclaim with works exploring Kyrgyz identity. The lively music and dances of the Kyrgyz people enliven any occasion. Instruments like the Komuz Luta and Kil Kyak fiddle lead folk songs. If you enjoyed this video on Kyrgyzstan, you'll love this next one.